All right, you want to see what our problem is with the Tesla? You see all the snow? You see the snow? That's the door handle. And how am I supposed to get into the car? The car's locked. I can't get in. The door handle won't come out. I would say that that is a major design flaw on behalf of Tesla. Sometimes old ways are best. Now you can argue that something similar can happen to regular cars with, you know, normal door handles, but honestly, you'll need more ice on the door handle to get a similar issue with a regular door handle. Sometimes old ways are best. I actually thought about that the first time I saw a Tesla car door design, the push button as somebody that lives in Chicago and it gets very cold icy, snowy. The whole idea of having a push button to open the car door seems semi-problematic. I don't know why you wouldn't want to just have a regular door handle. I understand it's different. It's the future. It's a Tesla. It's supposed to be different and futuristic, but honestly, classic door handles best. Get an electric vehicle, they said. Everything will be fine, they said. Now in this video, I'm going to take some shots at Tesla, but I generally support Tesla, I really like Elon Musk, but there are some clear flaws in the EV market, EVs in general, the whole push by the government to make everybody have EVs by 2035 or whatever. In Illinois, there's a law passed where if you build a new home or apartment or condo or anything like that, you have to make sure that it is capable of charging an electric vehicle. I don't support that law. I think it's unnecessary, but that's not the topic of this video. Electric vehicles have a few different flaws, but recently in Chicago, a whole fleet of Teslas, and by fleet, I mean a bunch of people who went to a charging station, ran into a lot of issues due to the cold weather. Let's watch. Okay, Emily, thank you. That cold is also causing some big time headaches for Chicago area owners of electric vehicles. Yes, I never thought we'd say this, yeah. but it's true. As Dane Placco reports, the low temperatures have caused some headaches for owners looking to charge their cars. Electric cars may be the way of the future, but it's clear there are some problems when it comes to charging them in Chicago's deep freeze. Oh, we got a bunch of dead robots out here. Dead robots. <laughs> Dead Teslas packed the parking lot at this Tesla supercharging station in Oak Brook, a scene mirrored at other supercharging stations around the Chicago area. Man, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's a disaster. Seriously. With temperatures falling into the negative double digits, these charging ports have stopped charging, leaving many Tesla owners stranded here in long lines since Sunday. Nothing, no juice. It's still on zero percent. And this is like three hours this morning being out here after being out here eight hours yesterday. Has it been charging? No, not at all. It just isn't working. At all. It's just frozen. And so I'm now getting it towed to the um, Tesla service center because that's my only option at this point. <laughs> Adding to their frustration, they say, is that they're getting no help when they call Tesla for assistance. No response from Tesla. We have been suffering since yesterday uh, afternoon. These are unusually cold temperatures, but do you find this acceptable? No, not at all. Not really. I, I think it's less on the actual vehicle and more on the infrastructure. Tesla has not responded to our emails for comment, but an automobile expert we talked to said that the owners of all EVs should hit the battery preconditioned button on their car before attempting to charge it in extremely cold weather. In Oak Brook, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. Okay, let's go back to the beginning really quick. The woman who introduced the clip said, I never thought I'd be saying this, but EVs are having a problem in the freezing cold in Chicago. Really? You never thought that the freezing cold weather would have an impact on EVs? That didn't cross your mind ever? Obviously, there's going to be issues with electric vehicles in the freezing, freezing cold. Now, there is some part user error is what people are saying in some of the comments I'm reading. You know, you should charge your battery at home or you should have to put it in this battery saver compatibility mode or whatever the hell he was saying. Or, you know, you have to make sure that your battery has enough juice in it to begin with to get warm enough to be able to charge. And look, all of that may be true, but that doesn't eliminate the issue of all of these people are trying to charge their Teslas in the freezing cold and none of them can do it successfully. Okay, and yes, EVs, Teslas are very new still. We are going to have a lot of problems in the near future with them because that's how any new product starts and there will be issues 10 years down the road as always, but the early issues of the infrastructure here and this being forced onto people 
This is a pretty big problem. You don't want people stranded out in the freezing cold. There's a lot of reasons I don't personally like EVs. It's not really for me, but this is definitely one of them. And you might say, the viewer at home, you might say, but Beans, I could just charge it in my garage overnight. Well, maybe you don't have access to something like that. Maybe you live in a condo or an apartment where you don't have access to that, so you have to go charge it somewhere. Have you considered that? Also, if your house doesn't have the infrastructure for that, you have to build that, which is an additional cost. You quite literally have to be wealthy to be able to afford an EV, because it's not just the car, it's also all the extra stuff on top of it, like needing to have that additional charger in your garage. It's a pretty big charge that most Americans can't afford. And even if you do charge it overnight, in the freezing cold, your battery is not as effective. I mean, that's pretty plain and simple. In the cold, batteries don't work so well. So you'll have to get an additional charge depending on how much you drive. And if you drive too much and you have to go to one of these locations and this is the situation, you're screwed. Never in my entire life have I had an issue at a gas station regarding getting gas. I have never waited, actually. Most times it's as easy as just pulling up, filling up, going about my day takes, you know, maybe five minutes at most. And the thing with gas stations is, it's not weather permitting. It's not, oh, maybe it's an unusually cold day in Chicago. And he said it's unusually cold. I've lived in Illinois my entire life. It gets this cold every winter. Now, it might not be this cold every single day, but it does get down to the negative double digits for at least several days every single winter, no matter what, every year, like clockwork. To make a long story short, EVs have a long way to come. The infrastructure, the technology, all that good stuff. I don't really support the far left green movement that's happening. Now, that's not to say I don't care about the planet. Obviously, don't litter or whatever, but we don't need everybody to be on electric vehicles. We don't need everybody to have electric stoves. All that is far left propaganda. Don't believe any of that stuff. You're probably better off waiting to get an electric vehicle for several years, at least, until the technology and the infrastructure is improved. Again, no hate to Tesla. I'm all for innovation, new products. I don't support the wider range movement of climate change and be scared because Mother Earth's gonna kill you because of all the CO2 you let out. What are your thoughts on electric vehicles and this case in Chicago? Do you have an EV? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.